Hey, this is just a little tutorial video um, to help my students and hopefully other harpists figure out how to tune their harp. So with your pedals in all flat, this is for pedal harp, uh, lever harp, you're going to have your levers all in flat as well or all the way um, down so that they're not engaged. But uh, pedals, you're going to put your pedals in the up position and this releases any tension on the strings so that you'll get a true tune on the string in its open position. So I usually start somewhere around the middle. I like to start from the G below middle C and work my way down and then work my way up from the same place. Um, but it's just really personal preference. Um, so I have my Pano Tuner app. There's lots of different tuners you can use. Um, I find that the Pano Tuner app is free if you don't mind ads, but um, it's really accurate for the harp. And that's surprising because the range on the harp is so big from the lower register to the upper register. So some tuners don't quite get an accurate read at the low and the high ends, but for the most part, Piano Tuner has been a really good app. Um, so at the top of my list of free apps. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna start around G below middle C. And I like to kind of let it down a little bit while pushing and then really twist while pushing um, up to the note that I need. So I'm tuning G. It'll read G flat um, when you get it in tune because remember your pedals are in the up position. So it should be a flat. I'm just going to move this closer. And um, sometimes by releasing that string a little bit lower and then cranking up into it, you can get a really good tight twist on your peg. And that really helps secure it. Um, the little rivets in, inside, the, uh, inside the hole really do lock in um, as you twist. So I find that it holds tune better um, and longer if I do this, especially in the colder months when the wood is contracting um, your instrument, the wood contracts and expands depending on the moisture level and the, the warmth or the cold in your home. So there's a lot of factors affecting the tuning. So um, moving down to F. Now F isn't going to read as F flat. It's actually going to read as E because F flat is enharmonic with E. Now that might be a new word for you. Enharmonic means they share the same pitch. So if you think of a piano, this is probably the best way to explain this is next to the F going to the left, going down the piano, there is not a black key for flats or sharps. Um, so an F flat, the half step below F is actually also the white key E. Uh, that's where you have two white keys in a row on the piano. So your F is going to read as E on your app. And then going below that, E flat, a little push down and then really cranking inward as I twist up. leverage from that bigger part of the key. Um, you may not have a key like that and that's okay. Just be really careful that you're protecting your wrist as you twist. Twisting is not really a harp playing motion. I can really feel as I'm pushing it, I can see the peg coming out more towards the front. minus from 440. 440 is your A440 it is um, pretty typical tuning for an accurate A, although some uh, ensembles and orchestras will tune slightly different. Or maybe unintentionally will start to slip uh, sharp or flat. So sometimes in a 
symphonic situation, you have to kind of pre-plan to tune up maybe to 442. out of tune even though you're not but it's not like you can just retune the whole harp when everybody goes out of tune so <laughs> so this is going to take probably I think if you're new to this this is probably going to take you about 10 minutes and, and that's okay it'll get quicker as you go um should be tuning your harp every day. I know it sounds like a major time commitment, but it's really good for your instrument um, to maintain that tune, the tension on the strings, the same tension on the soundboard. Now these lower ones, they really can be touchy and it's hard for our ear to hear it too. So just a little bit up, a little bit down. I'll go with close, it's okay. I feel like I have to go past, so go sharp, and then inch back down until I fall into tune. Because it's really hard to crank these ones. And I'm standing on my tippy toes, and I'm 5'7", so you may find that a step stool is helpful for you. And that happens. I just did exactly <laughs> what I shouldn't do on camera, but it, it happens. And thank God now they make these coated in rubber because sometimes they'll slip on your hand. Of course, when you're doing a video <laughs> to share publicly, um, they didn't used to be covered in rubber and I can understand why they are now. So I'm down to the last two strings and you'll notice that most pedal harps, the lowest notes D and C, do not have corresponding discs for the pedals. So when you get to these notes, depending on what piece you're playing and what notes you actually need, it may be beneficial to pre-tune to what you're going to play. So if you are going to use these notes, check your music and determine, do you actually need a D flat? You have to manually tune to a D flat um, or D natural or D sharp for your piece. So I'm gonna to tune to natural. So I am, looking at my tuning app, it says D flat, but I know I need a D natural when I play today. So I'm going a little higher to get it up to D natural. And if you wanna check, that's a D flat because my pedal was in the flat position for the other tuning, the other string. So I just, I'm going to just double check also by ear that they match. Um, they're not going to match when you change back to flat because this D doesn't have a disc. Okay, so I'm continuing the same thing with C. I need a C natural today, so I am going to tune my lowest string. Can I reach? I'm on one foot. <laughs> and I want this to sound like C. Just C natural, not C flat. Now C flat is also B, it's the same situation as F flat. There is no black key on the piano to the left of C. So that's an enharmonic note. So C flat is B. So I'm looking for my tuning app to say B. And this low note, it seems to be picking it up okay on the app, but it's really hard for me to tell too. So I'm just gonna double check changing my C pedal into natural. I'm not buying it. I'm gonna go a little bit higher. It sounds flat to me. I think I misspoke before. You do really want C, C natural, not C flat. Just depends on what piece you're playing. That's why it wasn't right. I was going for C flat. B, but really I want, for the piece I'm playing today, I want C natural. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same process going up the instrument. Um, remember to kind of, it helps sometimes to go a little flat and then really push as you crank up to tune. 
that's going to help all these pegs really stick in there, especially this time of year um, when the harp tends to go flat in the cold weather. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you and feel free to reach out and ask me any questions you might have. Um, I'm happy to help. Thanks.